Hi everybody, welcome to Yoga with Sasha. Today, our practice will be dedicated to love. And I wanna share with you that this video was made possible because my good friend Jerry came to Jerusalem to practice yoga with me. And when she went back to Brooklyn, she said, Sasha, let's make a video so that you can come and be with me in Brooklyn. So Jerry, thank you. And I want the whole world to know that this video is dedicated to you and I love you. So, and if we love ourselves, yoga is a, a fantastic way to show and express love for who we are because it takes care of our bodies and it keeps us healthy and it keeps us moving and happy. So I hope you enjoy our practice. Let's go to the mat. So for our practice, please make sure you have a chair and you have a blanket and a yoga strap. A scarf will do just fine. All right, let's step up to the chair. Place our hands on the chair and grow our spine nice and long. We're gonna place both elbows on the chair just beneath our elbow crease, okay? So let's take two steps back and gently place the tops of our elbows over the blanket. Take a deep breath in and press your elbows into the chair and press your feet into the mat. Looking forward, take a deep breath in and then place your forehead between your elbows, dropping your chest towards the mat. So you're gonna feel a dip in your upper back Walk your feet a little bit further apart and just enjoy how it feels to be draped over a base of support like this. We are so lucky to be supported in this way. Deep breath in. Soften your eyes and pull your sitting bones away from your elbows so you feel a nice line through your spine. Nice line through your spine. Inhale and lift your gaze between your elbows, bend your knees, and now take two medium-sized steps back, have both hands on the, on the back of the chair, and then lift up like you're about to take a deep breath underwater, and then pull your weight back, good. So this is a modified downward dog or right angle pose. Press into the chair and just squeeze your sitting bones away. Contract your glutes and pull back. And what you're gonna feel, you're gonna feel your spine elongate. You're gonna feel the muscles in the small of your back. Pull back, good job. And then gaze between your hands, drape your chest even lower, bend your knees, and take two big steps back to the chair. Good, very good. All right, that created a little bit of openness in the chest and stretching across the back. Shake your body out. And let's get ready for the next pose. Place both hands on the chair. Shift your weight into your left leg. That will be our standing leg for this pose. Gaze over your shoulder and take your right foot to the outer corner of your right, your right head to the outer corner of your right foot. Now swivel your hips back to center. You're gonna feel a stretch across the quad. You can take a strap here. So if you'd like to, if you need more length, then grab a strap and just hook it around the back of your foot. Good. Now pull your heel towards your right butt cheek. And then pressing the knee down, you're gonna feel a stretch across the quad. Just smile into that stretch, because it's happening anyway. So love yourself where you are. And try to really place, imagine that you're printing with your knee on the mat. You get a nice straight line, juicy stretch. Try to lift the heel a little higher, Good, and then slowly unbend the knee to about halfway and then release the pose. Good, ready for the second side? Let's do this, right hand to chair and the right leg is gonna be our stabilizing foot so you can just count on it. And we're talking about love, so what is love? Is it love just, uh, is it an emotion? Yeah, for sure it's an emotion, we feel love. And let's say that we also do love, make love. Doing love is, is doing, it's doing for us, it's doing for others. Pull your heel back and smile into the stretch. Ready? Mm, exhale, deep breath into the shoulder. Send the breath to where you need it. That's one of our fundamentals. By the way, if you'd like to challenge your balance, you can take your hand off the chair and extend it out to the side. If you'd wanna take a moment to try to challenge your balance on the other side, just pause the video and repeat. This is about you and your practice. Bring your hand back to the chair, slowly bend your knee to about halfway down and then return your left foot 
to the floor. Good, raise your arms up and overhead. Reach your fingertips up, send your heart out to the world. Receive a gift into your heart and then float your hands back down. All right, bend your knees and straighten. Bend your left knee. Take your right knee up into the air and then cross the back of your right knee over your left thigh. Okay, so right now our hands are still on the chair. If you can, try to hook the front of your right foot around your shin. If that's not accessible, it's okay. Just keep squeezing your inner thighs together. Good. From here, you can keep your hands on the chair. You can raise your left forearm up and come into a half balance. And then, if it's possible, take your right elbow crease, place it under your left elbow, and then wrap your hands. Take a deep breath into your chest. And then pull your shoulder blades apart. Yeah. I know, there's a lot going on here. But you can do it. Breathe, expand, and then try to lift your eyes. This is called Garuda Asana or Eagle Pose. So that lightness and strength of an eagle. Good. Bring your hands back to the chair. Slowly unwind your legs and place your right foot on the floor. So you'll feel the difference in the qualities of the legs because one leg got a lot of compression in the best way. Got a lot of blood circulation and flow. So that's good. We want that. We want that. Bend your knees. <laughs> yeah, and we're going to lift our left leg up. Wrap our left around our right. Tuck the foot in again if possible and raise your right forearm up. From here, grow your spine nice and long and tone the belly. If it's possible for you, take your left elbow crease under your right and then wrap your arms together. Broadening the back. See if you can lift your eyes just a little bit higher. Toning the belly and breathing broad into the back. Fantastic. Squeeze. Very good. See if you can sit back and send your weight a little bit further towards your heel. Fantastic. Rooting that heel down, lifting the heart when you're ready. Good. Place your hands back on the seat of the chair. Lift your left knee up and place your feet on the floor. Big circle up. Clap for yourself. That was a good sequence. Let's swivel the chair around the blanket off, rotate the chair around to face the mat and if you need more padding then take another blanket, you can never have enough blankets in a yoga practice and you can place the blanket on the chair. If you have a cushy chair you might not need that because this blanket is going to go underneath your upper back. So take a seat carefully and we're going to measure the weight. I'm going to see if we're where we need to be. Just take a moment to get organized. Rolling onto our sitting bones, we're gonna lift our shins onto the chair and lie back onto the blanket. Take a deep breath here. Very deserving breath after our standing sequence. And we're gonna draw our right knee in towards our chest, clasping our hands behind our knee. Take a moment and squeeze. This is really good for digestion. It stimulates the digestive tract and we're gonna press pressing our right heel up into the sky. Draw your knee towards you and feel the opening across the back leg. Soften your eyes and just relax your upper body. Your chest can be relaxed, your belly can be relaxed and just isolate the movement in the heel, pressing up and then the knee drawing in. Good, bend your knee. You can come up a little further Take the side of your right ankle towards just above your knee and then clasp your hands behind your left knee and pull the knee in towards your chest. Good, you feel a juicy stretch across the right glute. If you'd like to tone your core in this position, you can lift your shoulders up off the mat, pull the belly in, pull the knee towards you and breathe into the shape that you've created. Give it life and love, pull a little higher. Good, take two more breaths here. Wherever you are, if you're in pose A or pose B, just enjoy wherever you are. Kick your left heel up, go to your edge, pull this whole left construction towards your body. This is great for your back body to get stretched like that. Very good. Same pose as second side, draw the left knee in, pull towards your chest, extend your left knee up, 
Take a deep breath in and pull. Create a longer line between your heel and your sitting bone. God, this control over our body is one of the biggest gifts of yoga where we can access movements and muscles and spaces that we never have. So that's a big gift for ourselves to explore that way. Inhale, soften the eyes. Extend the right knee up and look for the sky. Look for the sky, really reach it up. Enjoy the effort. Enjoy the effort because the fruits of your labor, they're gonna come. So work now, enjoy later. Bend the right knee, place your right foot on the floor and then join with your left. For here, if you have any neck sensitivity, I suggest getting another blanket. Both shins are on the mat, placing your hands by your side. If you have high blood pressure, I suggest you stay here. If you have any eye problems, again, I suggest you stay here. If you're ready to invert, to flip your body weight over, then please press your feet into the chair and lift your hips. Yeah, is this okay? All right, it's what it is. Inhale, press your hips up, tuck your chin in and see if you can walk to the edge of the chair. Make sure not to flip the chair over, keep pressing your feet in, pressing your arms in and now you're gonna roll the outer shoulder in, outer shoulder in and press through the arm bones, lifting the hips, good. Now if it's possible, hold, your hips with your hands to give yourself that extra support and if you can send one knee towards you and extend the foot up you're totally welcome to stay here you have the support under your left foot if it's possible lengthen the tailbone towards the sky and join with your left foot make sure that your head is directly in line with your spine and that way you'll know that your neck is safe just keep a little bit of that cervical curve the curve in the back of the neck press your tailbone a little higher lift hoist your weight up yeah, enjoy the beauty of your inner body. Wow, the blood is rushing to the head. It's all going down. Good, you can flex your feet and point your toes. If you'd like to go a little deeper and your neck is happy, you can bend one knee and place one knee over your third eye. Good, keep breathing into the belly. And even if you're not here today, you can totally repeat this video and practice. And practice finding where you are today and where you can take yourself. Because our body is like a teacher, so it'll teach us to our ability, push us a little bit. And then the next time we come back, we're already more experienced. We'll take a moment to enjoy this fetal position. And when you're ready, slowly roll back onto the support of your hands, extend your knees, and then bend one knee and look for the chair. Mind your neck, good. Place your right foot down next to your left, lift and then slowly release your arms and begin to curl your spine down, upper back, mid back, lower back, and then drop your hips to the floor. Hug your knees in towards your chest. Rolling your shoulders back. Very good. We're going to roll onto our right side. Good. And help yourself up slowly. You're going to sit towards the long edge of our mat. Yeah. And cross your legs at your shins. Take your arms up. Yeah. Breathe into this new body that you showed some love to. Place your hands on the back of your head and spread your wings. Lift your heart up. Open your eyes wide and then lean back. Curl your back heart down and your front heart up. So this is the seat of emotion, the heart chakra, the center of sensing and unconditional love. Start with yourself and then you will for sure be able to extend that love out into the world because all of us need love and at the end of the day all we need is love. Love in all its different forms. Spending time, doing things for ourselves, doing things for others, speaking kindly and just, you know, cuddling and having a good time. Thank you for choosing to spend time with me today. I loved your company and it would be great if you could please like, share and comment below because I would love to know what you guys would like to work on in our next session. If you're moving on to the rest of your day, then we're going to say goodbye in a moment. 
If you have more time, you can continue to the next video in the series that is going to be all about creating amazing partnerships and collaborations within yoga and in life. So it was a great practice and see you next time. I'm Sasha and namaste.